Ukrainian parliament to prepare a bill declaring punitive operation in Donbas a war. An MP from the People's Front fraction in parliament, Dnipro 1 battalion commander Yuri Bereza, has said the Parliamentary Committee on National Security and Defense is preparing a resolution on declaring the events in the east of Ukraine to be a war. Ukrainian secret services will crack down on media outlets criticizing the country's government because they are receiving funding from Russia and have a special anti-Ukrainian mission. Yuri Lutsenko, head of the Petro Poroshenko Bloc Parliamentary Party, told Verkhovna Rada deputies on December 9. On behalf of his party, Lutsenko urged the secret services to repel anti-state elements and spies and the Kremlin's fifth column. Russian military, led by Deputy Commander-in-Chief of the Ground Forces Alexander Linsov, are providing assistance to the Ukrainian southeast conflict sites in reaching compromise for the escalation of tension and troops pull out, Chief of the Russian General Staff General Valery Gerasimov said on Wednesday. The mission was sent at the request of the Chief of the Ukrainian General Staff Viktor Muzhenka, said Gerasimov. The Russian General Staff Chief said that the mission's task is to provide assistance jointly with the OSCE to the conflict sites, the Ukrainian troops and local military Militias, to find compromise solutions for the de-escalation of tensions and pull out of troops from the contact line. The CIA paid at least a million dollars to Poland for it to host secret prisons, where it incarcerated alleged 9-11 terror suspects, according to the recent US torture report. Warsaw have initially tried to hold the transfer of suspects, but after a generous offer it suddenly became more flexible. On Wednesday, the country's ex-president Alexander Kwasniewski confirmed that Poland agreed to CIA black sites. This is the first time a Polish leader has admitted that the country had secret CIA detention centers. We wonder how many many years Ukrainian government will need to admit the fact of CIA intervention in the internal affairs of Ukraine. We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.